Good morning, good morning. Now we're heading up the bush today, off to work. We, we got the dogs with us, which is nice. Haven't had them out for a, a wee while. Sky's been on heat and young Chase, he's only a pup. So we're just getting him started. And yeah, we're gonna go up to the block that we're contracting on for the Department of Conservation. Uh, we're actually working in one of eight field security sites. Security sites are set up to protect the blue duck, the fuel, and it's done through trapping and the use of 1080 and a few other tools. But yeah, so we're heading up, we're going to be walking a fair few trap lines in the next two days. We're just going in for an overnight trip. Two massive days ahead of us. But yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to having the dogs out there and letting them have a good run. Be nice if Sky could put some pressure on some pigs and catch one with Chase with her. That would be awesome. I've got three months left with the dogs and then me and my family, we're off down south. We're doing a four month hikoi from the bottom of the South Island to the top. So starting in Bluff and heading our way through to Picton. It's sort of part of the Te Araro Trail which runs the full length of New Zealand. But we're just going to focus on the South Island section and just play it by ear. Head off on a few side missions and see how the kids go. They're only young, they've got short legs so might be a bit of hitchhiking or a few bus rides here and there to skip a few of the gnarly sections if need be. But yeah, hopefully we um, get onto a couple of pigs, smash out our mahi, have a good time, enjoy a night in the hut and I'd love to get you guys some footage and just share the experience and talk a bit about what I do for work. Cool. So if it all sounds reasonable, come along for the mish and we'll try to take some footage as we go. Cheers guys. Awesome. So we made it up to the car park. And most days when I'm on the trap lines, we jump on the Harley. And we have a good 30 minute to about an hour and a half at the max, depending where we're going on the mountain bike. Cool as. So we've just biked up probably about yeah, yeah, an hour 20 up the track. And we're going to stash the bike here behind me, having a sandwich. And we'll have an orange for Bricky. And then we head up the track. Got another 40 minutes, just got to boost up the track, cross the river, and then we'll be on to our first line for the day. <laughs> oh well, that was nice and easy, apart from the bloody puppy scratching at my calf muscles on the way across, the little bugger. Just headed up to our first trap, number 159, and yeah for the rest of the day we're following the river up, heading south. Turning into an absolute glorious day. Beautiful. So we're just starting one of our first climbs. The dogs have shot off quite quickly. Hoping it's not a deer. It was the 
the young fellow that led the charge so there's a good chance it was just a venison up the hill but yeah the sun's cranking out blue skies I'm even sweating looking forward to the rest of the day absolutely stunning on days like these best job in the world cool as Thanks guys. Awesome. So we got our first stoat. Not a bad size. Probably coming in for the rat. And both of them are pretty manky. We do monthly service rounds, so it means that every month we come around the traps once. And yeah, as I'm sure people are aware. These traps are only able to set off once, so once they've caught something or they've sprung off they're basically buggered until someone sets them again. So a bit of a shout out to any hunters or trampers if you're ever out in the bush and you come ac across traps and you've got the time and the energy um, have a go and feel free to reset as many as you want. If there's stoats or ferrets or cats or anything like that in them you can always just take them out and leave them on top on the lid so just place them on the lid and then um, whoever's doing the trapping if they come through they'll be able to see that they've caught one and mark it down we use an app on our phones which I might show you a bit later and that records all the data so how many stoats, how many rats um, whatever else we might catch young cats and whatnot. So yeah, we'll take these two out, rebait them and carry on. But super stoked. Every stoat, every rat is a bonus, especially the stoats. And yeah, the main reason we're in here is to catch as many stoats as possible and help the blue duck population. So you're just basically giving it a real good clean out. At the moment we're using some freeze dried or salted rabbit. Placing it up there. Sometimes I'll sprinkle a few bits here and there. Um, resetting the traps and then generally scratch out the entrances just either side of the trap. lid back on here's our big manky as stinky stoat and then yeah give the entrances a good scratch up both ends make sure she's all good and on we go And another one. Awesome. A stoat with a view. That's what we want. So what we've got here is this is our app. Currently we're on trap 154. We're just going to click on the side here and we get a whole heap of options. This one is the species caught. And at this trap here we've got a stoat. So we go down and click on stoat, it shows up there. There's a whole lot of other features and things you can put in, different information. 
and we're going to save that cool and then we've also got the map feature so the map is a really well defined topo map um, and basically it's got all the trap locations on it the track lines all the huts creeks walking tracks etc and yeah you just sort of follow that around it's got an inbuilt gps system which tracks you constantly which makes the red dotted line and that's how department of conservation knows that you're out here doing your job i don't think there's any way of cheating the system so yeah you've got to be up here doing it and pretty straightforward easy to use cool as Wrapped number three for the day. Dogs are happy. Just had lunch and now we're about to head up the river behind me and we're basically just sidling up next to the river a few ups and downs and just following the trap line bit of old rooting here and just back in the bush there there was some small nosing quite fresh doesn't look like a big pig and yes yeah, guys just booted up the river only 150 but we'll keep an eye on her first bit of fresh rooting we've found though so that's cool too good starting to huff and puff now <laughs> the day's getting on and yeah a little bit gutted we lucked out with the pig sign we did come across awesome so we're up above the hut we've just got this nice little shallow crossing across the river climb the bank onto the main public walking track boost back to the hut get the fire going have a brew get changed into some nice clean clothes and kick back no pork dogs done all right though had a good day no major complaints and it was nice to get a few stoats on the board oodles of rats and yeah i'm looking forward to a rest that's for sure sweet as <clears throat> so we made it back to the hut We've just been going hard, getting the fire going, doing a few chores, and we're prepping some kai. I just set the inReach up, and I've sent my darling a message. Every night I send a message, and um, basically, if she doesn't get it in the evening, and doesn't hear from me, by 10 a.m. the next day if she's missed two lots of comms then that's the panic time send someone in looking and the moon has just come up above the big native trees up behind the hut pretty choice <laughs> master chef up in here bit of a pink stew for the doggies See what they reckon about that bad boy. Can't say it looks that pleasant, but hey, hot meal for the dogs. Chase's first hot cooked meal. And mine doesn't look too much better to be honest, but that's all good. Can't beat pasta. Go the distance. Jug on for a brew.
Living the dream there, brother. One of my favourite things to do in the evenings, especially if you're out in the bush, is scan the maps. We're so lucky just to have endless bush all around us. It's what makes this country pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh man, she is cold this morning. We've just climbed up onto our first line and the sun is beaming in. Bloody beautiful. Get out of it. We've got this hind looking at us curiously. Both dogs are just below me. Tempted to shoot her. But I can't really be bothered and I don't want to encourage the dogs. Chase. Surprise she's still standing there. Crack up. No dear. Sky. No dear, Chase. Leave. No, oh, that was cool. We just came over this rise and the dogs were just down below me. Just in that little snippet of daylight in the little hole over there in the bush there was a big hind staring at us she was there for quite a while but yeah obviously couldn't smell us and was just trying to suss out what and who we were alright Skyzy's just pulled one up Oh good, oh that's what we're after, bit of practice and experience for the pup, hey mate, he got there and grabbed on which is cool, I actually made a mega boo boo and went all the way up and around instead of just cutting straight down into here, so it took a bit longer to get here. Good training for Chase, but yeah, not, not the nicest for the little pig. And yeah, I'm wrapped. Good to see him on a pig, even though it's a small one, it's still... Basically, that's what we came for, that's why we brought him in. Get that experience.
Me? Hey, Juice. You happy, mate? Yeehaw. Might try and keep the dogs in and just get a bit of distance away from here in case the other squealers are in close and try and make some progress. Move on. So we dropped down about 500 metres from where the dogs caught the little squealer and they're tracked off again. They just done a loop and while they're doing the loop I heard some barking. Not sure if it was Chase just trying to keep up or whether they're trying to pull up a pig. So the dogs ended up about 940 metres in the wrong direction. But yeah, they're definitely chasing. Um, whether it was a bigger pig, maybe a big sow or another squealer. Who knows? But um, I ended up beeping them. Um, to turn them around and bring them back so we can get on with our day's work. So just while I was sitting here waiting for the dogs to come back, having a bit of a think about this job up in the bush. Um, yeah, for me it's basically a dream job. It's pretty amazing. Get paid to tramp around all day. Um, and yeah, I definitely feel like making a difference in terms of the pest control um helping the blue duck population and all the other native birds insects etc that are in the forest or at least i like to think we're making a difference some days it is hard to know but um you do see a lot of success with these projects so fingers crossed we are doing what we should be doing and um, yeah, it's a huge network of traps up here. Um, this FIO security site, basically, oh, there's about a thousand Doc 200 stoat boxes on this block. And then there's one over the hill um, that's got close to 700. And in each box, there's two traps. So yeah, you're looking at nearly 2,000 traps on this side. And nearly 1,400 on the other side. Huge, huge investment from the Department of Conservation. Uh, Genesis Energy has a partnership with DOC. And they put in a huge amount of funds. And um, yeah, big shout out to the original contractor on this block. He was in here for close to 17 years, I think, when I talked to him, he said. Um, which is phenomenal. Like it's a huge achievement and for walking the hills for that long is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, a bit of a legend really and he always had a few local guys with him which was cool for them providing employment and was generally pretty open to who he had with him. It didn't matter what or where you came from. So that was really neat. Hey doggies. Good dog. Good boy Chase. Hey, you stuck with Sky this time mate. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Chase done really well on that one. Like, there was a good burst out through the native in a big loop, and he was with Sky the whole way. Um, and I'm glad they both turned around and came back. But yeah, as I was saying, like, um, phenomenal amount of investment and work's gone into these projects. Um, the man hours and the labour, the sweat. Um, for me, I'm only new to it. So I only just started in here. Um, but yeah, all the work that's been done before me, big ups to those fellas that put in the hard graft to get all these trap boxes in here. It ain't an easy task carrying three or four plus trap boxes on your back through this sort of terrain. Um, yeah, too much. Nice to see those two again. Hey mate. Leave.
Get out of it. Come on. And just in there on that little flat bit is where I found a dead field last trip through had been killed and eaten so hopefully it was you and we smoked you Good to see the new traps doing the job though. Cool, so that's loop one done. Took a lot longer than normally would, but that's okay. And we're just having a drink, we'll refill the water bottle, maybe a muesli bar. And then we head up our second loop for today. Um, got a good spur to climb all the way to the main ridge. Then we'll loop around the main ridge drop down a small spur and a bit of a shitty steep bit back into the river <laughs> interrupted my schmoko break just had a good sized pig run past me followed by a smaller one oh. And I think the one they've got might just be another squealer by the sound. Possibly a little bit bigger. <clears throat> yeah. Chase was there, so that's awesome. That's what we're after. Get him, Chase, get him. Yeah, good dogs. Good dogs. Chase, Chase, leave boy, leave. Oh good, well my GoPro was flat, so that was a bit of a bummer, but it was only a squealer, much the same size as the other one. And pretty awesome that Chase was right with Sky. We were just sitting there, Sky had been down the side, and I just sat down for lunch, the dogs were with me, happily just lying in the sun. And then a wind popped up, and both of them just noses in the air, and they were gone. Yeah, I think I need to invest in a couple of little chains or ropes so I can quickly tie the dogs up. Because it was a little bit of a kerfuffle, but hopefully <laughs> they don't chase it and catch it again. Oh, well, that was perfect. Great for the young dog. I was wrapped with that one. They both got a good wind. Chase. Um, straight down the face into a little gut and caught it. Ah, final crossing. Sweet as. Nice bit of sunshine while we get our clothes back on, put the boots on. Up to the track. What a day! Yee -hee -hee. So we had a bite to eat and a drink on the edge of the river. Just past 2 pm in the afternoon. And now we've got. A 5k tramp along the track. Then we get on the mountain bike. And we finish off with an 8km mountain bike. Back to the car park.
It's the sun just disappearing over the hill. Won't be seeing him again for today. The dogs have been having a nice snooze in the grass at this campsite. And we've just grabbed our bike, had it stashed in the bush. Crack up. The dogs seem super keen. They were looking at each other and all excited. Chase boosted ahead. And I think it's because my darling and the kids have been up doing a couple of the close lines today. Hey doggies, can you smell some familiar smells, eh? Who can you smell? Who can you smell? Hey boy. You smell Noran Jade. And here he is. What are you up to, man? Waiting for Mum. Yeah? Jade. Mum's cool. gonna do it real fast, but then, yeah, Jade wanted to. Chase, get down, boy. Jade wanted to have him. Okay, so you're waiting and she's gone up with Jade. Yeah. So, how many lines have you done so far? Yep. Mm. Have you done two already or one? I've done two and three. Okay, That's sweet. Three. And is this the last one, eh? Yeah, we're doing number one. Though. Awesome. So they've gone up the track? Yeah, and also um, something really funny happened. So, you know that steep part where you pulled over in Jade? Yep. Yeah. When, we, when I went down and almost at the very end, I actually slipped. And then it rolled and rolled and rolled all the way down the hill. Oh man. And here's the rest of the tribe. Big fat Labrador. Young fit Jade. How you going Jade? Dad. You been doing the traps? Yeah. There's mum. Hearty bushwoman. Not a bad day off school eh bud? No. Okay. <laughs> here's the old deer slayer. <laughs> Oh, you're looking grey compared to those other dogs, girl. She's been having a great old time. Yeah, I bet you have. Bit of width on that back end. Oi. You're lame. You girl. She's been sniffing all the old pig rooting up. <laughs> I bet you were saying, come on, Mum, take the chain off. Take it off. <laughs> Let me loose. No way. Yep. The team is on the boost. Nice to see Fernie Girl back out in the bush. Our old black lab, fair few K's in her day. And she's now living the retired life. Nice mate. Well done mum. Cool airs. So we load the bike up. Family's going in the white ute. And I get to take the Honda CRV Beast for a burn. Home time. Awesome. Oh well, that was really cool to catch up with the family. They had just been up for the afternoon and done three of the smaller lines. And yeah, if you've managed to watch the whole way through this little video, hope it was half pie decent or there was a bit of enjoyment in it for you and hopefully we'll see you on the next one got a few more months mahi up here um, and might try to get on a few other hunting missions and then we hit the trail down south so could chuck up a few little youtube videos of us as a family out 